Hello, this is Nicola Sandoli from eConsulting. In this video, we would like to we would like to show you how I build up a, a glossary into SharePoint for the data warehouse project that we built. So first of all, you go onto the BI portal, you click on glossary, and and here you are in the glossary homepage. Uh, what uh, you have here is basically two web, par web parts. The first is a form web part, this here on the top, and the second one is a list. This list contains all the terms, and uh, each column is a different metadata. I would like to focus our attention on the last two columns on the far right, the link and the initial. The initial one contains only uh, is a calculated column that contains the initial of each term and is used for browsing data throughout these radio buttons. So here you go on A and you go and you have only the term that starts with A, B, C and so on. For example D. So what I did was bring in the web part with list, the, the, the web part with the form, and then connect it one to each other. This is a classical uh, form web part that I customized, so I changed the text box with radio buttons. And for the last radio button all, I just connected the radio button with the uh, uh, web address of this web page so I get back all the items. The other column is the link item. It happens from time to time that you have the term but you actually do not know what is contained into this term. Let's say for example that you go on D and in this case it is easy but you would like to see what's contained into the date uh, date date here you have description but you can actually click on C elements and what it brings this link is uh, uh, the actual report that we built in OBI that contains uh, all the terms that uh, are into date here it is Okay, that was it from uh, uh, Nicola from eConsulting. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay connected on our channel and you'll have more information.